All right, I'm back, and uh, just uh, you know, wanted to make sure that you could see uh, the target over there and uh, see the gun properly. Uh, she's already loaded. You saw me loading the magazine in it. Uh, the release is right up here in the front. Uh, it does have a uh, magazine safety, so the magazine is out. Uh, even if you put it in uh, fire, uh, it won't fire the round. Uh, and uh, there is a, uh, a round in the chamber right now. Uh, so uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll. Uh, let me back up a little bit, give me some distance here, and uh, see if we can uh, take a shot right there. So while you have this uh, laser sight, you can't see your regular iron sight. And during the day, this uh, cheap red dot sight, uh, or this red laser sight, is not uh, very visible. Uh, I do have another one that's a green uh, laser, and it's much, much better in the daytime for you to, to watch and see. So, uh, so the gun is unloaded right now. Uh, well, it is uh, loaded with a new magazine. I unloaded the original magazine. Just put this magazine in here in place. You can put it on safe if you want to, but I'm getting ready to shoot it, so just, uh, you know, uh, push down on that uh, slight release and uh, get it back in, in there. And I gotta see if I can see my, uh, my laser one more time. She is very, very hard to see sometimes, especially when it's bright light. Anyway. Well, that's it. So these are the first shots uh, with the laser, and uh, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, you can see kind of the laser now that it's in the shade. Uh, when it's bright outside, you really can't see it. So uh, it's one of those things where either I'm going to have to switch to a green laser, or I'm just going to take it off altogether and use my iron sight, which is normally what I would do. And I couldn't see this last time, so I just uh, used the uh, groove right here as a siding groove believe it or not and uh, that's where all the shots ended up here they were way way high so we're gonna try it again if I can see the laser so I'm gonna unload it and uh, load the magazine one more time and see if we can see the laser well enough to go ahead and load a few rounds in it. So as you can see, I'm pulling down on that spring release. Makes it a lot easier to just drop them in there. You don't have to fumble with them as much. Uh, you know, there's no fighting the, the spring tension to get your bullets in place uh, loaded in the magazine. So that's one nice thing about the Smith & Wesson uh, magazine. 
and uh, one quirk that it does have if you fully load it uh, you'll always uh, have uh, a failure to feed on the first round invariably uh, you notice that when I shot these two magazines uh, if function flawlessly that's because I put uh, one less round in it so right now there's one two three four four Five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I believe there's nine nine bullets in there. Uh, this would be the tenth one. If I put the tenth one in place, uh, usually I will get a failure to feed. Let's see if I can. Okay, so the the clouds came in, and I can see the laser now. So. And that one made a liar out of me. It uh, worked flawlessly, even though I fully loaded the magazine. I think it has something to do with the magazines breaking in. Uh, this uh, this gun is fairly uh, fairly new, uh, so I haven't shot all that much. I have maybe I don't know three four hundred rounds into it. Uh, I like it so far. Uh, I've read some mixed reviews online, though. Uh, you know, there's people that love it. There's people that hate it. Uh, I've not made up my mind yet. It seems okay. Uh, the sights aren't great, to be quite honest. I uh, would have hoped for better sights out of the factory. Uh, so, you know, I'm not, not crazy about that, that's for sure. Uh, looks like I got a bullet in there that's, uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, so, yeah, the, the jury's out on on this particular handgun. Uh, it does seem, you know, accurate, or not accurate, but uh, reliable enough uh, once I take that extra bullet out of it. So we're going to try loading it, uh, fully loading it again to capacity and see if I get that failure to feed on that first round. So that's all she'll take right now. The sun came out, so it's probably going to be hard to see that red dot one more time. Let's see if I can can see it. It doesn't take much brightness, I noticed, for that red dot to disappear on me. And yeah, moving it around, see if I if I can see it moving moving in that box at all. Well, I guess I had it turned off, so that had a lot to do with it. There's my dot right there. Poor rover. He's having a bad day. Yeah, I lost my sight again. There we go. Oh, that's a failure to fire right there. So let's see what happened there. Uh, failure to feed, as you can see. Now it popped up, and now I got one in the chamber. It, it happens almost every time that I fully load that magazine. Uh, I don't know why that is, but both magazines do the same thing. Uh, and I think it just has something to do with the magazine breaking in. Uh, what it feels like to me is that I need to open up the the magazine, the lips of the magazine a little more. Actually, I know the lips were under the, the lips. Uh, so I'll give that a shot and see, see what happens. that's it that's all she wrote so we're gonna drop the magazine put the slide forward put it on safe put the gun down get the target and uh, uh, that's rover right there uh, you can see there's a shot concentration right here, and then that, those were the first ones that I shot at. Uh, but when it's really bright, you can't hardly see that uh, that dot. So it's one of those things where I'm probably better off just taking it off using my iron sights. Uh, I'm much better at it than using this stuff here. Uh, so, anyways, that's the update. I hope you liked it. Uh, 
I think that Smith & Wesson handgun is actually uh, pretty good. Uh, I, I like the feel of it. I like the reliability of it. I just need to s figure out why when I fully load that magazine, that stack, there's always a failure to feed. Is the bullet, the second bullet won't come all the way up. And I think it's just because I need to open this up a little bit. It's, it's binding in there. So, uh, but yeah, otherwise it's pretty good. Uh, you know, uh, one of the features that I told you about is the uh, the magazine disconnect. So right here, it won't fire because the magazine is out. Although the hammer is cocked, I put the magazine back in there, and it fires. Uh, I'm not crazy about magazine disconnects, to be quite honest. Uh, it's one of those things when I was in the military, you know, I uh, grew up, I guess, with the 1911. As long as you got one in the pipe, uh, you know, if you if you gotta go, you gotta go, and you, you can pop that round out. Uh, I'm not sure what they're accomplishing, or what they think they're accomplishing by using a, a magazine disconnect. Uh, you know, uh, it's probably something to do with safety with the kids around the house. Uh, not something that's ever been necessary in the last 150 years. Uh, it's just modern times, you know, liabilities. And people uh, are just not used to guns anymore. And so they do stupid things, they don't know any better. And they leave guns laying around in the house with, you know, rounds in it. Uh, or leave the magazine loaded uh, and around in the chamber, for example, uh, without proper, you know, properly locking it up. Uh, one of the next videos that I'll do soon, I will show you my safe in my bedroom and uh, how do we have it set up to keep the kid out of it. Uh, we also, I also have two gun safes in the house, uh, but this one is for, it's an ink wall safe that you put your thumbprint on it, or you dial a four uh, uh, number combination on the keypad and it drops down. As soon as it drops down, you have, there's two handguns in there and there's a flashlight in there. So. Uh, that's kind of what, what our home defense is. Uh, I do have the 12 gauge shotgun, the tactical shotgun, which is the ultimate home defense, but uh, you know, I can't load that thing living laying around the house. Uh, there's no, no place for me to really to put that thing other than in the, in the gun vault, in the, in the gun safe. Uh, when I'm home, if I'm home in the entire week, uh, you know, at night, when I go to bed, yeah, no problem. But it's just too much of a hassle. It's just easier to have that handgun uh, in the safe and just uh, you know be ready to rock and roll if, if you ever need it. So, anyways, that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks and God bless everybody. Take care.